We are about a year from election day, but campaign season in full swing here, so it's only fitting there's a new movie in theaters now called Our Brand is Crisis. It stars Sandra Bullock as Jane Bodine, a quirky American political strategist hired to help a struggling Bolivian presidential candidate. I caught up with Sandra last week at New York restaurant Lamani over a plate of one of her favorites, early morning French fries. Attention, please. Everybody. Escuchenos, por favor. Okay. Everyone, oh, there's only one wrong in this. Only one, and that is losing. How do you describe Calamity Jane? <laughs> Extremely human. Uh, she's She struggles with a lot of issues. You know, she struggles with addiction, mental health issues, but she happens to be absolutely brilliant at what she does, which is she can manipulate so situations for her, her gain, her, her win or for someone else's win for whoever hires her. Stand up, on the level, come on, youth, vigor. So who did you study to get ready for this role? There are so many famous political operatives, James yeah. Carville, Karl Rove. Yeah. Did you look at a particular Yeah, I one? went and lived with Karl Rove for a little bit. Oh my God, He was amazing, he said, you know what? If you're gonna do this, do it right. Let me show you how I, I won for Bush and I'm gonna show you everything. Just bunked up with him? I just, well, he had a really nice guest room, so I, it wasn't like, you know, camping, it was glamping. You know, sadly, you you didn't have to do much studying because we're surrounded by it every day. Yeah. Um, you just you just see people who are um, manipulators, who are brilliant manipulators. We're going to go through every quote he's ever given, every person he's ever met, every vote he's ever made, and we are going to look for ways of using it against him. And if anyone has any qualms about this, thinks it's wrong in some way, you come and talk to me, okay? We feel such pressure to excel and be successful. And I think what we're excelling in or what we deem as successful is just completely off the tracks. You know, I think when you get to the end of your life, you're going, wow, I spent so much time worrying about achieving this level of monetary success or being seen this way amongst my peers and being respected. You know, in the end, you go, I don't care. Listening to you even talk right here, it feels like you have such great perspective on your career I have and your life right no, now. I have none whatsoever. <laughs> I'm an actress and I'm full of crap and it's early <laughs> and I'm lying. <laughs> that's and I'm eating french Have fries. Another fry. But that's the Come only on. truthful thing about Have this moment right fry. now. No, I say that because every time I hear you speak or read an interview with you, you talk about your son and how your career decisions will impact him. Yeah. I don't hear about how it's going to impact your career. It's well, about had, your son. I've had a pretty interesting and fortunate run. Starved and I'm armed. Don't mess with me. Ooh. You threaten my son. You threaten me. You know, I've been really lucky, and a lot of it has to do with luck. So I work hard. I love what I do. But my whole life was working. That's all I had. I was in hotel rooms with suitcases. I loved it. But I didn't have a home. I've been given a great gift with being allowed to be his mom. And that's what, probably why I work every two years. Houston, you caught me. We had gravity, which was an unexpected whirlwind beautiful um, little gift. You know, no one expected it. My decisions are purely based on, am I gonna have an amazing lifetime experience? And that's based on whether Louis is happy or not. The bus chase scene. Yes. Um, how to put this gently. It culminates in a moment. There's a full right. moon over La Paz. And, and La Paz looks best when there's a clear sky and a full moon. <laughs> I like to call it a blue moon. <laughs> and we had full, full moonage. <laughs> you know, sometimes your best face forward is not the best way to um, enter or leave a room. Sometimes, mm. sometimes the exit is better <laughs> in the perspective of the person <laughs> exiting. And when people see the movie, they know exactly <laughs> yeah. what you're talking about. Thank you, enjoy Thank the fries. Thank, Thank you, you so for much time. for splurging. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to have to see our brand is crisis in theaters now to understand that cryptic conversation about the full moon, but I think you get the point. Hello today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.